We're gonna test out some valve stems today, the difference between Presta and Schrader. For years I've used Presta valve stems because that's a standard valve stem you're supposed to use. I've been trying out Schrader valve stems for a few years and I found I really like them a lot. So I developed the Jones spec valve stem. And we're gonna do a test here to see how they compare against other valve stems set up different ways. And we'll see which one has the most flow because the more flow you have going through a valve stem, the faster you can inflate it and seat your tire. So to set it up tubeless, we want a lot of air to go through. Schrader has a bigger hole, but let's see how much of a difference it makes in running some fluid through here. But instead of using air, I'm going to use water so we can measure it and see which one has the most flow. This valve stem is a Schrader valve stem, but it's not just any Schrader valve stem, right? We have a large hole through the center without any rubber on the end. Some of the other valve stems like this one, I can lift this up and you can see more of these. You'll notice with some of these, they have rubber on the bottom and these are going to clog up a little more easily. This one doesn't, this one doesn't, this one does. This is a Jones stem. Here's the new Jones Schrader valve stem without the valve core because you take the valve core out to set it up. This is a Presta valve stem, just a standard, I think it's a WTB valve stem, it's brass, and it has no valve core. This is another brand of Schrader valve stem. Here's another brand of Schrader valve stem. Here's another Presta valve stem, but without the valve core. Another one without the valve core. This one has the rubber on the end, but it does have the valve core. So these are normally how it's set it up. You'd use this and, the, and the, the nut would fall down on that, block most of the hole, and then you can shoot the air through those little holes on the side. There's also this valve stem, which is made specifically to have higher flow. It has more opening on the top, so definitely looks like it'll have more flow than this. Since we're putting all the water in at once, everything will have the same pressure. We'll just see how they fill up. The normal way to install sealant in a Presta valve stem is to just squirt it in the tire when you have the tire off or run it right through the valve core without removing the valve core. But it is a little easier if you remove the valve core. With the Schrader valve stem, you must remove the valve core because it has a spring that seals it up and you can't just squeeze a bottle of fluid in there. But removing the valve core is very easy. What I'm gonna do is pour a little bit in there, halfway up the valve stems a little bit so that we can make sure it's not leaking anywhere. And then after that, I'm just gonna fill it up pretty quick and then I'll take it off before everything overflows. We'll see what happens. Anybody leaking? Nobody's leaking? Okay, and I got the, the nuts are loose. So here we go for the rest of the way. Let's see. Of course, Jones up there high. We have another Schrader right behind it without a valve core. The Prestas with valve cores are way behind. The Fillmore is ahead of the regular uh, Presta setup, so that's much faster than regular Presta. But then Presta without a valve core is faster than that, and then Jones without a valve core is the fastest. That is just about the end of the test. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna move these down. The one that had the least amount of flow is this one. It has a nice metal bottom opening, but it had the valve core, so not much. WTB with a valve core with a rubber opening, but it had a little bit more flow. The Industry 9, this one has a metal bottom also, and it had the valve core. Then we go to the Fillmore. That's quite a bit more. That's, that's a big improvement. And then this is WTB. It's one of these, but without the valve core. All I did was remove the valve core and you get that much more flow. Here's the same stem, an aluminum one and a brass one that are almost the same. And then this is BW Schrader without the valve core. This is a Tursky without. That's a lot. That's a good flow. So that's a Presta that's up in the, in the Schraders. That's interesting because they did the worst with the valve core in it. But then over here, it's better than this by quite a bit. And then uh, VeloTubes Premium is up to here. And the Jones was overflowing before, so it had more. That is a big difference. That's a big difference. When you're inflating a tire set up tubeless, it requires a certain punch to pop it open to make it fit. Well, that was fun. That was interesting. I'll be trying to share more experiments and show how and why I do what we do here. I have done tests like this before on my valve stems and other valve stems. I hadn't done one where I had it all put together though. So it was nice to see this all at once and see the results. Oh, one more thing. Why do we use Presta? Back when rims were wooden, there were concerns that the rim could crack 
from the valve hole. So during that time, they developed pressed -to valve stems. So pressed -to valve stems are so you don't split your wooden rims in half that are really skinny. What if you have rims that are wider? Is there any point to press to any more? Is there any reason that it should be done? I mean, you could just do it because we all know as cycle geeks that you're supposed to use Presta and Presta is the best because it's the French valve stem or something. The racers do use it. It makes sense on very skinny rims where you might break the rim. I think it's more of a problem with wooden rims. And Schrader has been around just as long as Presta and they're both made for bike and it works much, much better. And I know you guys just want bikes that work the best. You need the best functionality. Who cares about fashion and, and, and historical you know, traditions or whatever. So here's a nice bike with wooden rims. And this one actually has Schrader. This is a 1930s Schwinn with carbon rims. And it's a nice bike. Very, it's a, a very, very low handlebar though. Oh, the weight difference is pretty much nothing too. I think it's like two and a half grams or something because these actually use a really big core and these use a really small one. This will allow you to run a lot more air through it. Big difference. Is that good? Do you want to say anything about they're available now, or do you want that in the oh, comments? Yeah, yeah, we'll just yeah, because we already have them available. I'll I'll just say the like Jones stems available now in our store. You can buy them, and they have cool valve caps and things. But we'll go into more detail later. This is just the experiment. 